Okay, so if we're talking about tints and shades, you guys can combine these two activities together. And what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna use blue as my demo. You guys can use a different color if you want, but I'll use blue, white, and black. So for blue, I'm gonna mix that into my white and create a nice, really light shade. And I'm just gonna do, try and vary the mountain shape and then brush down to let it fade out. So see I'm turning my brush. Okay. All right, then I'm gonna take a little bit more of my blue, mix it into my white. And actually, I'm going to take just a titch of my cerulean blue. That's kind of the more turquoisey blue. I'll mix it in with some of the ultramarine blue again. And then I'm going to turn my brush the opposite direction of what I started with last time, just to try and change it up. Maybe I'll take it up at a higher angle. Also, I didn't do this today, but normally I would say put some kind of paper or something underneath your painting so you're not spilling everywhere. And then take a little bit of water just to get that to spread a little bit more. All right, then I am going to just keep adding to this one, but now I'm gonna take just a little bit of my blue and my black. Oops, I accidentally mis mixed some brown in there, but that's okay. Yeah, you guys can actually take these tones, these muted tones, you can mix those in. Um, now I'm gonna add another layer actually kind of nice that that was there. Remember how we mixed that one? It was red and green mixed together. So we add a little bit of red and green to that purpley blue mixture. It'll give you a nice little muted purple to add to these mountains. Or whatever you want to call these. <laughs> My sloping hills. Welcome to my art tutorial. This is not something I do on a daily basis, except I do do this on a daily basis, <laughs> but not recorded. <laughs> They're happy hills. <laughs> my happy little hills. Let's add a little bit more variety in there. There we go. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to take a little bit more of that reddish color. I'm going to mix that in with my blue. Take, I'm going to take the rest of that ultramarine. Now I'm going to start taking a little bit more black, mixing that in. And really I should have like filled that in more, but I didn't. So it's okay. Do as I say, not as I do. All right, so this one's like gonna be one of my darkest mixed tones. So this would be your darkest shade until we put black over the top. And you can just pick any kind of black silhouette that you wanna put over the top of this. Then, 
Let's see. I'll take this fine tip brush. I'm going to take the black, mix some water into it, and now I'm putting it some kind of bottom here. I guess I could have still used my flat one for that. That's okay. And then if you're going to do a tree or something, just know when you go to do trees, um, spin your brush so that you get a nice point in it. And then You're going to take your brush and just drag it. And then you slowly lift up. And you never want your tree branches to be thicker than where they came from. So for example, right here it's thin. So I'm going to make sure and make that a little bit thicker. And then Just keep bringing these branches out. Whoopsie. Okay, now that one's thicker, so I'm going to come back and thicken that up a little bit, especially down right there. It's okay if you get like some little odd knots like that. I think they're kind of cool. In fact, I like to go off of those. <laughs> See, I'm holding my brush up, and I'm just barely pushing down when I start to do those little tiny brushes, I mean, branches. Okay, so, um, you could keep going on these branches forever, and you just want to keep having them branch off like little veins. Oopsie, that one got a little thick. All right, so you just keep going with your tree until it looks beautiful. And then go ahead and sign your painting and we'll call it good. I usually like to sign my painting in something that's a little bit more contrasted, but also a little bit muted. So. I will mix my my color up and then and then stick it on there. And I'm just gonna put a little apostrophe and do zero. Actually I guess I need to put twenty twenty, huh? <laughs> 2020. You can also take like a white pen marker or silver one or something. Those are kind of fun to sign with too. All right. Okay, so I'm fine if you guys combine. If you want to just do a, a tints painting where it's like all pastels, that's fine. Or if you want to do one that's all shades, that's fine too. Or you can combine them both like I did in this one where you, you're just mixing the white to get tints here and then like mixing the black in to get more shades and then again like you are using like muted tones to to even like mute down your shades and get them like more realistic looking so and if i was going to analyze this i think i kind of wish i had muted down this blue just a little bit more because see how that kind of stands out compared to these three it kind of sticks out I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So anyway, um, there you go. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. And um, and then with your color opposite painting, you can choose between red and green, purple and yellow, or blue and orange. <laughs> okay. All right. Have a great day, and we'll catch you later.